In the competitive world of real estate, making a strong first impression is crucial when selling your home. Home staging is a proven method to enhance your property's attractiveness to potential buyers. Today, we're going to explore the costs associated with professional home staging and provide you with a guide on how to stage your home for maximum market appeal effectively. So stay tuned. A professionally staged home spends less time on the market and makes the space more attractive to potential home buyers. The cost to stage a house ranges from approximately $800 to $3,000. The final cost can depend on several factors, including size and layout of the house and the cost of labor. Home staging has several benefits, including better listing photos, higher appeal for buyers, better demonstration of space, and less time on the market and potentially higher selling price. It's possible for a homeowner to DIY a home staging project, but hiring a professional can help ensure that the look of the home will appeal to as many buyers as possible. So if you want to DIY it, here are 12 tips to help you out. Tip number one, stage where it counts. Begin by focusing your efforts on the heart of the home. Now, when you're doing your research, you will see a difference of opinions. Some believe that the kitchen is the heart of the home and some believe it's the living room. But I believe that depends on the layout of your home. So let's tackle both of these. I know that in my home, the kitchen is where everybody ends up at. Um, whenever I have a party, everyone is in the kitchen until I shoo them out because I can't move. But invariably, they will all end up back in the kitchen about 15 minutes or so. The kitchen is also the key selling point of a home. So when you list your home, you need to put away all of your small appliances, take the photos and magnets off the front of the fridge. Counters should be free of everything, except for maybe a bowl of fruit or a subtle pop of color. It should be clean and show its functionality. When we're talking about the living room, it should feel inviting and spacious. Put away those extra magazines and blankets. Put all the TV remotes in a table drawer or in a decorative basket. Go with neutral colors with a hint of color. Now, the master bedroom, you should create a serene oasis with neutral colors and luxurious bedding. Tip number two, depersonalize the space. Start by removing personal photos as well as personalized decor that may detract from buyers. When it comes to bathrooms, clear bathroom counters of toothbrushes and toiletries. Put out candles and soaps, maybe some fresh flowers to create a spa-like atmosphere. The goal is to make your home feel like a blank canvas ready for your buyer's personal touches. Tip number three, get rid of clutter. To make your home appear more spacious and organized, tackle clutter systematically. Consider packing up seasonal clothes and non-essential decor. Pay special attention to closets as buyers often assess storage space. Keep only the essentials visible to create a sense of openness. And as I mentioned earlier, put away those extra magazines, books, blankets, and all your knickknacks. <clears throat> Tip number four, clean thoroughly. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm all about cleaning your home. Yes, I'm going to talk about it here as well. A thorough cleaning is essential for creating a pristine environment. Pay attention to often neglected areas, such as inside of your refrigerator, oven, and microwave. Believe it or not, buyers often open these appliances. Don't forget to dust window blinds and wipe down baseboards. Go room by room and use a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to remove scuffs from the walls and the doors. You'd be surprised that after using one of these, you might not have to paint that door after all. A squeaky clean home communicates it has been well cared for. Tip number five, patch and repair. If you notice any areas needing extra attention like small holes or cracks, Please spackle and caulk them. A fresh coat of paint on areas with chipped or warm paint and caulked baseboards can work wonders, showing potential buyers that your home has been meticulously maintained. Tip number six, go neutral. Neutral paint colors like soft grays, warm whites, and muted taupes provide a neutral backdrop that appeals to a broader range of buyers. 
Bold or vibrant colors may distract from the room's features and make it harder for buyers to envision their own style in the space. Again, a subtle pop of color like a red kettle or dish towels in the kitchen or a bowl of fruit is fine. If you have neutral furnishings in the living room and master bedroom, you could add a pop of color such as a pillow or two, but I wouldn't overdo it. But if you have colorful furnishings, try toning it down with neutral accessories. Also, if you are staging with different color pillows, don't run out and buy new pillows. You can buy some inexpensive pillow covers on Amazon. I do it all the time when I'm ready to change the look. Tip number seven, focus on freshness. Incorporate living elements in your home with strategically placed potted plants and fresh cut flowers. These not only add a touch of nature, but also purify the air. High quality artificial plants can achieve the same effect if you prefer low maintenance options, but adding fresh flowers makes any room feel fresh and inviting. Tip number eight, let there be light. Natural light is your ally. Open blinds and curtains to lend in as much sunlight as possible. Ensure all the light fixtures are functional and consider higher wattage bulbs to make your home appear brighter. If you can afford it, buying some inexpensive light color curtains to replace dark ones will help bring in natural lighting. A well-lit home feels more welcoming and cheerful. Tip number nine. Rearrange furniture. Aim to create a sense of flow and spaciousness. Remove oversized or unnecessary furniture pieces that may crowd rooms. Arrange the remaining furniture to highlight the best features of each space, such as emphasizing a cozy seating area in the living room or showcasing a spacious dining area. Tip number 10, define rooms. Clearly define each room's purpose to help buyers understand the home's layout. For instance, stage a furnished attic as a home office with a functional workspace and designate a room previously used for storage as a guest bedroom with a comfortable bed. And if you are using that dining room table as your office, now is the time to find a nook and a spare bedroom and make that your new office. Just be sure to keep it tidy. Tip number 11, make a good first impression. When enhancing your front entrance, remember that first impressions are lasting. Power wash the front stoop or porch, ensuring it's spotless. Touch up the front door with fresh paint and ensure all hardware is in excellent condition. A simple doormat and a well-maintained potted plants can add charm without overwhelming the space. This inviting entryway sets the tone for the rest of the viewing. And tip number 12, upgrade curb appeal. You've heard me say it before that I have had buyers not even get out of the car if the front yard looks less than desirable. So elevate your home's exterior by attending to details, pressure wash siding or brick, prune hedges and trees to create a manicured look and consider adding outdoor lighting fixtures to enhance evening curb appeal. These enhancements create a captivating first impression that encourages buyers to explore further. To wrap it up, remember that your home staging efforts should appeal to a wide range of buyers, focusing on highlighting your home's best features while maintaining affordability. The goal is to make your property stand out in a competitive market, attracting more potential buyers and ultimately achieving a higher selling price. We hope you found this video helpful in your journey to sell your home. If you have any questions or would like to share your own home staging experiences, feel free to drop a comment down below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Of course, remember to subscribe to our channel where we delve into various aspects of real estate and the wonderful lifestyle of living in Tampa, Florida. I'm Tracy Pines with Real Estate Solutions. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your home selling journey. Until next time, take care and stay inspired.